So they seeing that I'm going to have some time off now because I've been laid off. Let's get to working on the truck. Okay, so um, as you can see, these panels are kind of thin. Um, the roof rack, it looks like I may have to get my antennas in there. I got wires here and in the back. I have a big fat wire here that I'm going to use for power and ground. I also got power and ground there. Probably not going to use that. And then I also got a pull rope. So that's good, so I don't have to do it. I am kind of bummed because if I will put an entertainment system back here, um, I have no way of running the wires back there. I do have a way of running power and that, so I'm going to measure between this ladder and see if I can shove something in between there. Um, I think that will be a good place for the kids if I can get a little mount to go in between the ladder right there. The kids can fold it out, watch what they want, and maybe some wireless headsets and maybe a light. And just shove it up here in this corner right here. Um, that's something I gotta look into. And then I can put my monitors and stuff here. I can run power there. I'm gonna put some fuse panels or whatever those are called right there and down here. So I'm gonna put one there and there. Um, it's, yeah, it, it is what it is. So yeah, I'll put these like right there. Um, yeah, so mount one here, go on that rivet. Another one down here. And then uh, I'm going to wire my lights in there. This, I'll just put nut certs in. And then uh, I'll put my siren right here. Uh, I'm going to put my siren there, and I'm also going to put my, um, I think I'm going to put a 45-watt VHF radio in that one. I'll probably put the ham radio over here. It's a small little thing, but I also got a, Reducer, so I can put my AM FM antenna and also use it as a VHF uh, 144 to 174, I think. So I got my uh, wires here. These are the front ones, and these are the rear ones, and these is the left and right alley lights. Um, I have AKA light bar, I have light bar on everything. I did not want a roof rack on this, however. Eh, it was a it was a freebie because the roof rack it gives me extra space and a place to mount the tire, but it also leads to a problem where I can't put a light bar on the roof because of visibility. But then I, I couldn't get a lot of visibility up here anyhow. I could have put those on the outside, but um, yeah, as I said, the the cornering is real nice on this. Um, it's a lot quieter in here than most of them. Uh, I still have to fix this window. Um, I have to tell him about it. So we're at three minutes. Uh, I'm going to put some nut certs in here and I'll check back. Date. So I place that rivet with a nut cert. I put a nut cert in there. So that'll fit right in there. Then I'll put a panel there. Put a panel underneath here. And we start terminating the wires. So each one of these wires takes a ground. And then it takes um, uh, a lead. So there, there's three different flash patterns and a sync wire and then a color change wire. So the color change wire, I just touch it to ground. So I'll make these like the um, ground wires and I'll put a bunch of positives here. Um, and then I'll run these individually to where I need lights down here to where they need to run to as I said the siren's gonna go here but it's uh, it's definitely coming together uh, definitely coming together so I need to finish putting that together and then the leads I'll have to separate these again but yeah I'm very pleased that's gonna come together real nice so I'll put one there and put one there and then we'll get to go where we gotta go uh, siren's going to go here. Um, I'll use that wire. And this is going to feed up the lights. As I said, I only have tap lights right now. i got to put side lights on. i got to put security cameras. And I want to use that one for probably the security leads. I'm not sure. I mean, I guess I could put it down here. Um, it's just, it's not very, 
pleasant right there. Maybe I'll drill another hole there. I just got to feed it down here. I mean, this one's already fed. So if I could feed the camera leads in there and then run all my cameras and then put them like right there or down, that would probably be good. Uh, this big wire has to be cut. And uh, I'll terminate that on there. And it's looking pretty good. I mean, I also thought about putting a shelf up here, but that's a lot of space. And I was also thinking about putting a quiet one on these, too. So that's where we are. Talk to you soon. All right. So as you can see, I got the nut certs on top. I got the bottom strip in there. The top one's in the house on the living room table because uh, I'm programming the siren right now. So then I can uh, peel it back and put the appropriate wires where they need to be, and we finish up this project. Okay, talk to you guys soon. Lights in question are there, there, so top and bottom. I got my alleys here. Right there. And these are gonna be white. There's one on both sides. I have more surface area. I could put something else. But I think I'm going to put a camera in the center. Just haven't figured out how to do it yet. Progress. All right. So what I've done here is this is going to be one of my switches. So this will be the main power for the siren. But I just looped it through the D-ring to take up space. That's why I use blue here because it, it fits. They don't recommend it, but it fits in nice and tight. And I used yellow here. And this is going to be my main one of the fuse panel. So we're going here, connect to here. But when I hit the switch, it'll take the main power lead and divert it to here. Which will go up here. And that'll control the dome light once I get it set up. Um, now this puts the dome light or the DVD player here at 12 volts. Which is fine. But it'll at least give me an access switch down here. It also allows me not to use a... Um, like the barrel connection, but I'm still going to have to use the barrel connection for the black wire, which is the ground to continue. But yeah, so this switch here allows me as a termination and I'll be able to flip the switch on and off to control whatever I have this coming up here to do. So I think that'll work pretty good. Um, this is where we're at right now. All the wires have been programmed. I have not synced them yet. The siren, the siren mount. So, yeah, next picture we have this. I have two extra leads here that I can wire either 24 or 48. I just don't have a terminal to put them up. And then we have this main lead coming down here. So these two wires over here go to that and the one behind it, which originally were going to be dome lights, but it looks like now this will be the entertainment. That'll be the dome, or I'll get an entertainment with a dome light. That's why I'm wiring it to 24. So, yeah, this truck goes in for service tomorrow to try to get uh, 275 to 300 out of the pump and the 8.3, and then we'll go from there. Hopefully, I'll get better gas mileage. I still have these others, so I still have this one and the other two, and I still have the wire in the ground, which I'm doing now. So, just getting an update. Um, I got my official notice. I'm on FMLA for my father because uh, he was exposed to Agent Orange in the military and uh, has uh, dementia, Parkinson's disease, neuropathy. My back screwed up from birth because of Agent Orange. But to top it off, he also got vaccinated. So, you know, within six months of him getting vaccinated, now he can't walk, just got out of the emergency room. Yeah, um, this is an ongoing thing. So I'm on an FMLA, yet the city decided that they were going to put me off uh, for non-compliance without pay for the next, um, well, indefinitely. So I have to contact my lawyers on that. I'll let you know. Um, we just had a serious rain here. Everything looks like it went pretty good, except over there. See how it's wrinkly? I don't know if that's a leak or what that is, so I need to get over there and figure out what's going on. Um, so yeah, so here's the cab. That sets up to a bunk bed, this and that. I'll put a video together once I'm done with the siren and everything. Um, yeah, I don't know why that's all crinkly there. Hmm. 
Let me open it up and see what's up. All right, so I got the rear two lights programmed. Uh, amber blue. I haven't got them synced yet, but at least I got them going. So those are going to be amber blue or just amber or white. Side one's going to be red and amber. At least that's how you initially program. Uh, so there's one up there too. I haven't finished wiring it yet. This is still a work in progress. Uh, okay. So uh, we're about to test it. It's the wiring I've done. I'm sorry I haven't put much time. I just kind of threw it together. Uh, U.S. Forest Department's closed. They got washed out the last rainstorm we got, so I got to take the truck up there to assist with trying to make pass. We don't even know if the first river crossing is a crossing or not. So uh, let's give this a test and see how it works. Um, okay. All right. Now, if I do this. There we go. Code one should not do anything. That one should be the rear lights, which it is. Code two will be front amber. Uh, code three, red and blue, just for testing purposes. Um, that should be all the way around the truck right now. Uh, red amber on here, red blue there, and red amber in the back. So, that'll be the back. Then we have front flood. Okay, alley. Alley. And bed. I don't know if you can even see the bed. Okay, horn isn't going to work, siren's not going to work, I can't change the color, because that doesn't work. Um, so yeah, so, that should be, uh, now I should have everything on. Uh, so yeah, so this should be warning. And everything's right. See how we did. Okay. So you got warning. Warning. On the front. Yeah. Warning. On the side. Yeah. The visibility on the side's not that bad. I may want something with a flatter one and a roaring in the rear. So, yeah. So I have the rear on a separate button, but I'll program that and yeah, that's pretty good. So, and I'll do one more with the uh, Reds and blues for special effects. Okay, one handed, this ain't easy. 30 amp fuse. So I'll follow the truck. Put it back together. Uh, I can't do this. As you can see, we're up and running. Finish the fuse panel. We're all good. And now the final test. Ugh. These are Phoenix quad lights.
with a sound off six button, no, eight button siren PA system. And this, and this is the first part of the wiring. So yeah, I'll have warning lights tomorrow. So, yeah, should be good.